Spokane grandmother left with a broken elbow after she says a man on his bike crashed into her on the Centennial Trail. But it's how the man warned her that has many scratching their heads, including that woman's attorney. Oh, I don't know who yells hot pizza. It's not appropriate. It's complete nonsense. If you're gonna pass well, that woman has now filed a lawsuit demanding the cyclist pay up. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Tonight, the cyclist is defending himself and his choice of words before and after that crash. He spoke with KXOI Force Kyle Simchuk today. And Kyle, uh, what did he tell you? Well, Nadine, a lot of things, including why he yelled hot pizza before crashing into this Spokane grandmother. The cyclist says that he did everything in his power to avoid a collision and insists that this was all just an unfortunate accident. I've had several death threats, you know, people hanging up, you know, ca calling from private and block numbers, you know, threatening me. Justin Haller is defending his actions before and after he crashed his bike into a 67-year-old grandmother on the Centennial Trail near Kendall Yards. I just want people to be safe and know that, that this was an accident, not on purpose. The crash sent Virginia Pearsall to the ER with a broken elbow. Justin suffered a broken nose and hand. I don't actively look to, to hurt people, I look to avoid them. But Justin says he couldn't avoid the 67-year-old as he approached three women with strollers and these pylons. He says a recent hand injury made it difficult for him to break fast enough. Unfortunately, she moved on to the grass at the same time I, I moved on to the grass. And even though I did say something, none of them moved. Many cyclists will alert others by saying on your left or right. But instead, Justin yelled hot pizza. If you say hot pizza, people don't, don't freak out. They don't get herky-jerky and, and move to the, either side. They, they, they can calmly figure out where they need to go based, versus me barking in order. Through experience, that has been way safer um, than, than saying pick a side. Or I don't know who yells hot pizza. It's not appropriate. It's complete nonsense. He ran over a grandmother of nine. Yeah. Daniel Fazy is representing Pearsall, who says Haller was traveling at reckless speeds. After he smashed into her, he didn't see if he, she was okay. He instead decided to yell at her and berate her and basically blame her for being in his way. One of the witnesses had to come over and tell him to stop yelling at her twice. Haller says he was too banged up to remember exactly what happened after the crash. I, I'm sure I was angry. I, I don't know wh what I said, but I, I do remember asking her if she was okay also. We all just need to be more aware and, and, and careful and conscious. Now, Spokane police did look into the incident, but didn't find any reason to charge Haller with a crime. The woman's attorney told me that they're not hesitating in asking for six or seven figures in a case like this. Reporting live on the Centennial Trail, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Kyle.